So we're going to talk about selling premium in a way to short a stock without taking as much risk, in my opinion. Uh, instead of buying puts or outright shorting a stock, a way you can do it is by selling a call spread. And when you sell a call spread, you're going to sell a strike, sell a call for a certain strike, and then you're going to buy the next strike up. Or you can even, you know, if you're really confident, you know, you can, you know, go a couple strikes up. I wouldn't recommend that because uh, it can get really expensive if it goes against you. So I try to keep the strikes tight. Now, you know, guys have been doing it a long time. They're comfortable with doing that. You know, like a, a stock or an ETF like UVXY, that one you could probably get away because it's always made to go down. You could, you could get away with selling a really wide, a wide spread and uh, make a killing on it. That one you could do. But for this one, uh, we're going to keep it nice and tight. So what we got here is I have STC. Okay, you can see this channel here. And we've been, um, you know, it's been going up here and then it comes down here and retests this channel line. So we're on a trend here. And, uh, you know, I'm long on the stock, okay? I, I'm bullish on it. But I'm going to see an opportunity to prey on weakness or what I think is weakness. Then, uh, then I will use a bear strategy and instead of buying puts which when you buy puts you know when I go to buy a put I will lose see when when the IV if you buy a put and the IV is really high like when this on this chart right now the stock is just shot up okay just for this example again I'm using thinkorswim on an on-demand feature where I can go back in time and use uh, and I can back test strategy so for this example you can see that the this stock just shot up like almost 50 cents real quick so the IV is gonna be really high so if I buy puts right now for the most part I might you know it's not always true but for the most part when you buy something when it's when the IV is high the puts are gonna probably get more expensive and if this stock just drops down you're gonna get crushed by the you're gonna get crushed by implied volatility your uh, implied volatility or IV so I don't want to take a chance in doing that. So one way you can avoid that, in my opinion, and take advantage of that is to sell premium. Sell a call, sell a lower strike call, and then buy a higher strike call. This way, you're using theta, which is time decay. You're also taking in a credit and taking advantage of that high implied volatility or high IV so you're going to take in a credit and then you're going to buy you know buy the stock above it this way you have time working for you and IV working for you as well because if this stock just plummets back down uh, the buyer is going to get IV crushed I'm gonna try to we'll see if I can show in this example in this video an example of how that work uh, so we're going to go ahead. I have it set right now. Like I said, it, we just had this huge pump. I see it uh, testing the top of this channel. This is a time where I would sell. You can see the RSI is, you know, mooning right now. It's totally hot. Every other time it gets red, this thing just automatically rolls over. That's what I would think is probably going to happen. I don't know. But, you know, another thing I would do is I would come over to my options uh, this is another way to try to get an idea. Uh, so you can come here. Uh, let's see, this is on the 14th, so we're on expiration day. There's zero days left to expiration. Now, you could, one thing you could do is you could sell zero days. See, look how this thing just shot up. It opened up at one penny, okay? The IV got so hot. This thing was a one penny, this, this 250 call was one penny when it's opened up and it shot straight to seven and eight cents 
So here's this is one thing you could do. You could try to find stocks like this with high IV and fade them. All right. So we're looking at, uh, and I want to look at the uh, open interest on uh, the calls, and I want to look at the open interest on the puts. Now we got two two dollars. I mean, you know, on the two dollar strike, we got twelve hundred and ninety eight. Almost 1300 open interest on the puts. So to me, it says it's not going to drop below two. So that's bullish because it's got high open interest. If it had like 99, I'd be scared this thing's going to drop right through two. And I'd come over here and I see the 250. And I say, oh, look, it's got 5600 open interest. So some people think that's bullish. I, I don't think that's uh, it's, it's bearish because the market makers selling all these calls. To the moon boys and then they punish them by keeping it under so that's what I'm, i i just go with the flow i'm not going to fight the trend i'm not going to fight the market maker you know i'm going to just go with the flow so i see this is a huge wall they're not more than likely they're not going to pay out all 5600 of these calls they're not going to let it stay above 250. that's just the way i look at it okay so what i would do in this instance is look you know i see this huge amount uh for these calls okay so look for today i'm gonna we're just gonna for this strategy or this example we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sell we're gonna sell this 250 we're gonna sell the 250 call and uh so we'll take in 70 cents premium and then we're gonna buy the three dollar call so that covers us if it shoots over you know we had the three dollar call to uh we can exercise that call and cover the 250 so we'll lose you know we will lose some money it's a lot of risk for a little bit of money but it's i think it's a better way uh to short to go short rather than buying puts i think this is a, a very a much less riskier idea so we're gonna go ahead and uh, i'm gonna turn uh I'm gonna go ahead and start this trade. So we'll come over here. I gotta set the vertical. And we're gonna go to the 253, three strikes. So I press that bid. So basically I'm gonna sell. Like I said, I'm gonna sell the 250 call. And then I'm gonna buy the three dollar call above it. And I'm gonna receive a credit of five cents. I might have to go to four just to get in quick. Let's see what happens though. So basically my the max profit is I'll make 50 bucks as long as this thing stays under 250 and uh, my max loss is uh, 450 bucks because I sold the three dollar call so and I received a five cent credit so it's 45 cents uh, since it's a 50 you know 50 cent difference I would that's the risk okay if it was a 350 call then it'll be a $950 max loss or risk. So that would be, that's how much buying power I would, my uh, margin would take up or cash. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and uh, let's see what happens. We're going to start the, start, we're going to start, we're going to play the uh, on-demand feature of my thinkorswim. So we'll let the chart start and then we can uh, start looking at the premiums on here. So here we go, spiking up. So I'll come over here at the 253. Look, the thing's going fast. Let's go. Boom. So you went to 10 cents. Boom, we're in. Okay. We sold the 10. We sold and we got a 10 cent credit. Now come over here and we watch. All right. So I already done this once. Um, I already did this once, which is going to be kind of confusing. Well, I forgot to delete it before I started the video but as you can see we have uh, this is the one we just sold January 14th so look already we sold that 250 and this thing shot up we got some good premium on it we got 13 cents on it we're already up 40 bucks because it dropped see how that worked we're already up money now if it shoots up too high then we'll start going in the red but i'm confident so look the price is already dropping so look at this see we took advantage of the high iv okay the iv was high because it 
you know, the IV is controlled by when the stock moves real quick, then the IV also raises up. Okay, and you want to take advantage of that. Now, if you were to just buy puts, you'd get soaked. If I would have bought the puts thinking, oh, I'm going to buy that, buy a put way up here at 250, you know, you would have just got soaked because look, look how fast these things are losing value. You're not going to make any money. You're going to just get washed out and getting killed. Look, look at this thing. I just bought it. I just sold this. Uh, I just sold this call spread. Look, it's already up 45 bucks. Look at that. It's almost cut in half. See, this is a great way. Now, now it's not without risk. This is a great way to short a stock with, you know, without buying premium. I don't like buying premium. I do not like buying puts. I don't like buying calls. I really, I mean, it just, I, I don't like doing it because, you know, you have a time limit. And, you know, if, look at this thing. It's already, already, look, 50%. I've already made 50% on this. Now, you lose the money on this call because you had to buy this $3 call. Okay, so you're losing the money. Look, this I'm even making money on that one. I could close this out right now and be up, you know, uh, 50%. I could close this out right now. But anyway, you see how that works. See the price is dropping. We're at 240. I sold the call at 250. Because I, you know, I got into resistance area. I took advantage of that high IV, and then it dropped back down. Look, I'm already up. I'm already up 60 bucks on the uh, call I sold. Now. We'll go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and uh, for time purposes, I'm going to fast forward until the end of the day. Since I have this think or swim, uh, we're going to go to the end of the day. And we're going to see how this ends up. And we'll see. And I'll show you how how the call looks at the end of the day or right close to the end of the day. So let's fast forward it. OK, so. Put it to uh, 355. Oh, no, it's not 355. 1555. So we're going to 1555. And look, look where it did. See, 1555. Shot all the way up there. I caught that. I took advantage of the of the high the high IV, and I sold the 250 call because I don't I don't think it's gonna uh they're gonna market maker is gonna allow to close over 250 and then I bought the three dollar call above it and look it shot down and died straight into uh 222 so look go over here and look what we did we made 125 dollars because we killed the see that look at that 13 cents was our was what we got paid and it's worth zero and then we paid three cents to cover that 250 call to hedge ourselves we lost 25 we're gonna lose 30 dollars on that three dollar call we don't care about that so we made a hundred bucks we lost 20, let's say 30 and when this closes at, at uh when this closes at zero we can close it out now or just let it expire so we'll end up making 100 bucks i'm sorry uh 95 bucks i believe anyway you see you make you get the difference of the premium pulled in here yeah it's gonna be 100 bucks because you got you paid three cents for this call and then uh we sold this for 13 so three minus 13 is 10. So you see how that works. You use the, uh, you can look, you know, use your options chain to see where the wall is. People, like I said, a lot of bull tartered people, they look at this and say, oh my God, you got 5,600 calls. That's so bullish. No, that's not bullish. That's very bearish. Okay. Cause the market maker is not going to want to pay that. So use it to your advantage. Use it to your advantage. Don't, um, you know, you got to try to use everything to your advantage. All right. You're at a disadvantage because the market maker has unlimited money. So you want to, you know, go with the flow, you know, use them as your, you know, just go with the flow and use them, use their energy to your benefit. So as you see, I'm going to go ahead and close out, close out this video. But as you can see what happened, I sold that for 13 and I bought that higher call for three cents and ended up making 100 bucks.